Do you now understand what you are fighting? We must make it very, very clear that we are in a struggle for liberation. There is no democracy in a revolution. We are in a perpetual state of a revolution. There is no democracy. We are a quasi-military organization. Not in terms of our outlook or pursuit of what we believe in, but in terms of how we are structured. It is called command and control. That is why we are the highest, the largest mass movement in the world. When Biafra comes, you can do all the democracy in your life that you want. There are a lot of things that we are doing that we cannot tell you. When we tell you sometimes, oh, but why are you telling us? You don't have to tell us. But when we don't tell you, you also complain. Oh, why haven't you told us? So we cannot win. If you take them up, they say, you know, Sumabeke is, is the dead body of a white uh, uh, court mind those days. White colonialists. What do you see? This is the commissioner. Take him up. You say, no, 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 no. Bring him down. You say, no, 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 no. If we don't tell you what we are doing, you say we are not doing anything. And when we tell you, you say, oh, we are talking too much, or you're feeling everything. The same thing that is happening to our people today. Do you know how much money we have spent releasing those that we came in to kill in the north? Do you know how much we have spent releasing them, making sure we pay their bail bond to free them from the clutches of Fulani Janjaweed, murderers and killers? Do you know how much you spend on a daily basis? No, you don't know. But somebody will come and ask you, oh, uh, but um, uh, where is our money going? They have seen the widows we are taking care of. They have seen those we have we are putting through school. They know those who have flown abroad for medical treatment. That is how evil some people can be sometimes. And that is why it is only those of us at the top that know everything. You can't know everything because some of you don't know how to manage information. You have no idea how to manage information. We, dear friends, we have a lot of enemies. That is why you need to school yourself. You need to be hardened in terms of your devotion to this very noble cause. Some of you don't know what we encounter on a daily basis. Do you know that I've been to ICC before to give evidence? I never wanted to say it. Do you know I've been to ICC, International Criminal Court, to give evidence before? They said we shouldn't announce it. I kept quiet all these years. Are you aware of that? I went to ICC myself to go and give evidence. Are you aware of that? And some people came with me and they were there with me. Those who can vouch. I went to ICC to go and give evidence about Operation Pardon Dance and the effort of the zoo to exterminate our people. I, uh, I'm just telling you for the first time. But if we don't say these things, it's as if we're not, nothing is happening. You do, some of you, we are like a dog in a pond. When you see the serenity of the movement of a dog or a swan in a lake or a pond, you think their glide through the surface of the water is just effortless. But uh, just right underneath the surface, what is propelling them is their feet. They are working very hard to move forward. But you can never see it. But when, when you're observing it from afar, you, you will think that the, a, a, a dog or a swan is just gliding through the surface of the water. You don't know that there's a lot of hard work going on underneath. These are the things that people who do not appreciate nor understand. Without me telling you today, will you know? Go and ask them, they know those I took to ICC with me to go and give evidence. And that is why... <laughs> Those idiots, they, they, I feel sorry for them. The likes of everybody who, who has a hand in the death of Biafrans, I feel sorry for you because you will never forgive nor, forgive, nor, nor forget what you have done. Never, ever, ever. Not now, not tomorrow, not ever. We, Biafrans, we have a lot of enemies understand this very well. I just want to give you one or two examples so that you have that, that, that can guide you in terms of your reasoning, and your decision making. You know that Google is against us, are you aware of that? All of you well know that uh, uh, Facebook is against us. Even Twitter is against us, are you aware of that? 
some of you don't understand what they are. that is why sometimes i say there has to be a compulsory lesson in the history of biafra for everybody who aspires to be a principal officer of state you need to understand the demons you are fighting do you know that only a few months ago if you go to google and type in ipob you will see us you will see everything there about ipob fighting for biafra and all the rest of it are you aware of that i ask you to go this evening now or morning afternoon depending on where you are go and type in ipob ipob on google search engine they'll start putting you in new york stock exchange it started happening only two months ago they bust them over what they want to do is to is to airbrush our presence away from the minds of people if you go and you google number come you will see all the fake fake news from dss that's what you will see this is what group says no to esn that is what group they don't exist go and google the name of one of the people they, they claim is leading one of this group they don't exist. that is the news that you find under my name when you do Google search, you go to Biafra the same. Our own IPOB, Indigenous People of Biafra. Just type before you type in IPOB, it's only our news. Now you go there, it's about stock exchange in America. That is how they work. Because you people think we are fighting for land, who is for land, these are, these are stark illiterates. Animals are better than them, they can't reason very well. These are stark illiterates, they, they, are they educated? You can see what the mess they have done of the economy, the security, everything in the zoo is down the drain because of them. An exclusive full army government. You see how wretchedly incompetent they are. Do you think they can stop Biafra? Of course not. <laughs> no stopping Biafra is <laughs> Britain now. You know that? And their allies because they know what Biafra is all about. But some of you don't know this. That is why sometimes you lose focus. Let me tell you what happened during the colonial era in Africa. The white man came to Africa with only 5,000 men, 5,000 white people. They came. They were called the West Africa Frontier Force. They were established in the Gold Coast, then Ghana. Only 5,000 British soldiers came. But for Britain to conquer the rest of the Anglophone Africa, they needed black people to do it for them. And that's what we're facing today. Till to, 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 to this very morning. You know what they did? They went to Ghana, they hired Ghanaian men, black men, to help them to come from Badagri to conquer all their fellow blacks for them. <laughs> you know, so if you, if, you act, if you seriously think about the brain and nature of a black man, believe you me, you drink poison tonight and you die. Colonialism in Africa became possible because a few white people came down to West Africa, convinced other black people to help a white man to go and conquer their fellow black people, and they happily did it. In return for their children going to Eton and Oxford or Cambridge, they now came back as your so-called pioneer nationalists. But none of you ever knew that they came to do the bidding of the white master. That is one thing that a black man cannot understand nor unravel. And that is the beginning and end of the problem of black people all over the world. Look at how Britain is using foreign illiterates to subjugate all of you. You cannot see it because you are daft. They gave you your name, Nigeria, didn't they? They gave you all the festivals in your calendars that you celebrate. Nobody ever got up one day to say, if God created all men equal, how come a black man cannot go to Europe and give them all these holidays? Nobody, absolutely nobody, is doing that or willing to do that. They can never do it. They can never ever do it. These are the things that our people need to appreciate. That is why when they recruit them, look at how full and not married full and Latin man. Cato has recruited somebody who is an engineer in Omahe. We take claims he went to school. He's a lawyer. The those controlling we are Cato Headers and the Latin People who cannot even write their own, spell their own names. Are you aware of that? The same thing that the white man did to us when they came, the white man trained the Fulanese to be doing to all of you.
And what they are looking is like idiots. They came to him most of the time and they picked uh, who puts on them a wretched fool and put him in office in Douglas House. Now he has given a part of our law to me Allah. And all of you are just there looking, looking. Oh, what are we going to do? We need to unite. We need to do this. Now that IPOB is doing something tangible, instead of you to, 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 to instead of the idiocy you're suffering from to leave you. you say, oh, where, where is the law backing ESM? Where is the law backing full and agenda with this? Where is the law backing full and bandits raping our mothers? When a girl was butchered in Uli, in Ihiala, Butchered and cut into pieces. What did you do? Oh, Diana, what did you do? I'm asking you. Oh, Hannes and Jaran and Jesse, what did you do? When people are in the water, even yesterday, killing people, maiming and killing. Pan death, what did you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now that we have done something, some of you idiots. Anyway, I pray that the full and they come. I want them to come, let's be honest. I want them to come. Remember what I told you many years ago? They will kill us. We will kill them in the end. Biafra will come. Everything I tell you comes to pass. They will know they are gentle. They will come. They are foolish. By nature, they are very hopeless. They will come. This time around, they, we will turn Biafra land into a burial ground for terrorists. They will understand how serious we are. If we have raised it, it's no longer coming down until freedom is declared. They understand that very well. They understand that very well. There is need for us to remain focused. Going into this 2021, focused. Don't allow yourselves to become distracted. That was what happened to us during the war. Had we fought that war up until August or September of 1970, we would have won. That would have been victory. Nixon would have stepped in. That would have been victory. But we gave up as we always do. Man, this UG after a little, you know, run mental toughness is not in us. After a little thing, we just give up. Look at Trump, how Trump is fighting. It is enough. Oh, why don't you concede now? Oh, why don't you give up now? Hey, give up now. Hey, let's leave it for God. Let God do it. Trump said no. Because in a first world like the United States of America. Any hint of electoral fraud ought to be investigated. These are white people. You think they're going to throw it? You think they are black Africans? No. I'm not saying that Biden did not win. I'm not saying that. But there are evidence of electoral fraud, and it is being investigated. Look at 